Tutti. Welcome to Verona. Yes, that uh, town that uh, William Shakespeare uh, wrote about a couple of times, but in, most famously with uh, Romeo and Juliet. Behind me, you could see the skyline, including, I don't know whether you could see that, the sun's in my eyes, but the walls that go around the hills of Verona. It's a fantastic city. This is an amazing place. I'm in the amphitheater. Check that out. They still have concerts in here. Um, in fact, that's what they're doing down there. They're setting some some things up. But yeah, what an amazing place this is. And um, I don't go throwing around this word too often, but oh, what a romantic city. <laughs> everything is right out of, you know, uh, like everything you you picture when you when you think of these romantic uh, North Italian cities with uh, you know all the balconies and um, the what do you call those the shades and all that right uh, you know no wonder uh, um, the entire or the most famous part of um, Romeo and Juliet is the balcony scene because. That's what they have here in droves. It's amazing. Just beautiful. And I've been walking around all day and taking a look at some of the, the buildings and everything. Oh, it is an amazing city. Like, don't get me wrong, like, uh, being in Venice is a magical, magical experience. Um, but I'm glad I took this little trip. Uh, it's only like an hour and a half with the high speed train. And uh, yeah, I get to do this. I also, oh, I don't have it in view. Um, I went up a clock tower as well. <laughs> um, where I'm standing right now, you can't really see it, but uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna guess around, you know, 300 steps to get up there. Um, and I only found out like halfway through that there's an elevator. Okay, we haven't done this for a while. Got a while to go. Damn, there's an elevator. <laughs> and not one of those elevators where you pay like more money uh, to take the elevator. It's like, take the elevator or take the stairs, whichever you choose. And I just, I guess they explained it to me in Italian and I just kind of like, oh yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> and I get halfway up and <laughs> there's the elevator. Oh, okay. Alright. Anyway, to be continued. Buongiorno again. Still in Verona at the train station, ready to uh, head back to Venice. I love trains. I, I, I don't even understand um, like how this works, but in an hour and a half, I'm going to be in Venice. I was in Verona, or I am in Verona. And I'll be in Venice and it's just amazing and everything works out quite well pretty happy about the whole thing I really like the idea that I can spend a day a whole day in Verona another like super fancy city uh, for the cost of a train ticket you know I have to figure out what I'm gonna be doing uh, next weekend but um, I'm gonna do the same you know having a great time this is amazing I love like if you've never been to Europe try it because you can like whip between these cities so fast and they're the train systems are super efficient uh, like relative to ours <laughs> um, they're a little on the confusing side um, for someone like me who doesn't take trains at all at home um, but uh, once you get the hang of it you know Buy the tickets online, buy the tickets uh, the same day, like, you know, apparently you just pay a little bit more, it's not a big deal. Anyway, today was a fantastic day, and I wound up doing it again. <laughs> I went up, uh, I mentioned I went up a, a clock tower, or a bell tower, excuse me, and um, I also climbed up the, um, the amphitheater, um, that was the, where I just was. <laughs> And, uh, and then I was wandering around, I wanted to get pictures of the, um, of the river, um, thought that that's what I was going to do, and then I noticed that you could, there was a staircase that you could go um, right up to the, uh, 
uh, the top of the hill there and look out on to Verona. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Do I have time? Do I want to do that? Am I already tired? And all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I did it. Just like I mentioned before, I said to myself, are you going to regret it? And initially I said to myself, no, I don't think so. I think it'll be fine. Um, and then <laughs> as if, <laughs> As if I was having a conversation with my, my in, internal brain, I hear a voice saying, you sure? Are you sure you're not going to regret it? It's like, yeah, I probably will. So I climbed the hill. <laughs> I'm super tired. Um, and I got to, and I got to walk back. Um, cause the one thing about where I'm staying in Venice is that it's a, it's a good half hour walk. Um, uh, from the train station to my apartment so um, you know I still have that to look forward to but yeah what can you do it was a great day um, and uh, yeah it's a I'm tired but it's a good time it's a very good time to be continued Buongiorno again. What was I saying? Love the train? Yeah. Uh, so there was a bomb threat. <laughs> um, the train, I was transferring onto another train and that train never arrived because apparently um, somebody suggested there was a bomb on it so they had to be careful. So I had to take like another train and that one seemed to stop a hundred different places. So I'm just glad to finally get back home. Um, Almost anyway, I'm just crossing over the canal um, to get to home now. Um, and there seems to be some kind of brouhaha uh, in the square. Uh, Campo, excuse me, not squares around here. There's only the one. Anyway, um, great day. Small minor convenience aside, great day. Um, it. Uh, Uh, Verona is a fantastic town. It's gorgeous. Everything in it is awesome. I don't know how much of it I covered um, um, and how much less to do, but I could totally go back. That I definitely uh, would like to go back to, to Verona. Um, but, I mean, that's what you could kind of do when you get out here into Europe, right? As you stay somewhere, you hop on a train, you go check something else out. And I love it, it's fantastic. Um, I am ridiculously lucky to be able to do all this. Um, it's just so fantastic, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, yeah, see, they're excited too. <laughs> Jeez, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Uh, I am, and uh, I'm going to head to bed now because um, I'm, I'm tired because <laughs> one thing about all the excitement and all the greatness and all the fantastic stuff that's available is uh, um, it, it involves a lot of walking and my, my feet to, my feet are a little sore so I'm going to go rest them. Um, I, I hope for all the great adventures for, for everyone watching this as well. Um, Fun new stuff to, coming out tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, until then, a domani. Arrivederci. Ciao.